Hey guys, what is up Dave here coming back to you with a brand new game update for 1320 challenge. This is update 2.08. Uh, one of the biggest updates we've actually, I think, really ever had, at least for the moment, because we finally added a custom car to the game. This car is not just, you know, the last couple months in the making. This car has been years in the making because of all the help we've had from different people. So let's get straight into it. The McLaren F1 is a car I've wanted to add to this game for a very long time because it is a very iconic car in racing games overall. A uh, majority of racing games out there, as far as I'm aware, either have this car officially or it's been modded into it. Some of my favorite games like Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010, Hot Pursuit 2, uh, the Trackmania franchise, people have modded it into that game. There's all sorts of different uh, game series that have had this car added into it in one form or another, whether it's modding or uh, officially. So I figured it kind of suits the game. Every game I feel like needs that one car that's the most expensive thing in the game, or every game needs that most expensive item or something like that that you can buy with in-game currency. This is that car. You go to the showroom, you want to buy it, it is $1.2 million. Good freaking luck. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we have all the correct information here. Doing a little bit of Googling around as well. Uh, the red line is 7,500 RPMs, but it can go over uh, 8,300 with over rev, which was actually applied for the top speed attempt because they ran out of gears on the transmission, fun fact. Uh, learned that after reading a couple articles so we tried to emulate that here that's very useful for bracket setups on this car now another thing with this car is or another thing with this update just to cover other things as you can see car ids are now public for everybody you can see them in your garage or if you're looking at somebody else's account look at brett you can see their car ids here they are color coded so uh zero to a hundred or one to a hundred is red uh or no one through 499 is red that's right uh or yeah i believe so and then 500 to 999 is yellow i think is how it works and then i think that's it i didn't do anything past a thousand and any special color it's basically to make the really old cars stand out so there are a couple cars that have like very custom colors i think car id number 69 has a custom color uh car id 1320 was sold to the system a while ago so that one's just out i was going to color code that one too but yeah so it's just a nice little thing because there's some history from this game and like previous games that are just like this game from the same development company people decided to start collecting cars based on their age best way to tell a car's age is how low is the car identification number it's just like a vin number if you get a early model year car it might be vin id 100 or uh whatever it might be the vin 100 you know you know you can tell by the vin how old your car is so that's kind of how car ID works in this game. It's basically the VIN for the car. The other thing that was added, I will show you on the racetrack, is gear launching. This is something to kind of help make bracket racing a little more doable with more cars. So I'll show you real quick. I can launch in second gear using the number two key. I'm probably gonna spin the, oh wow, it didn't spin. So as you could see, I started immediately in second gear. The way you can do this is hit the two gear above WASD. If you want to launch in third gear, you can use number three. The idea behind this was a mix of like track mania and real life where some racers, depending on track condition, will launch their cars in higher gears to get better traction. In Trackmania, they have what's called action keys, so you can steer at specific angles with a keyboard. So like 40% steering, 35%, whatever. So we added it to 13, or I added it to 1320 Challenge to see if it'll help with some bracket racing with some cars. Because, like I said, if you hit the two or three above WASD, 
you can launch the car in that specific gear. So if you watch my gears, I just launched in second. And as you can see, yes, I can go over rev limit, but you do potentially risk engine damage doing that. I do still need to make a bracket attempt at this car. I'm going to try to make some bracket gears and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I haven't had much luck with bracket in this game, so don't hold your breath on a bracket setup from me. Also, don't hold your breath on head-to-head -head ratios from me because, boy, do I suck in this car compared to everybody else. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much it for the update. Uh, future update, probably 2.09. I'm hoping to have wheels working on this car because as you can see, if you go to part shop, you can buy wheels for the car, but they don't show up on the car. So we should have that fixed in 2.09. Also, I believe we are working on some other ideas as far as like visuals for the game to see, you know, just what we can really do. So, you know, just pay attention and, uh, uh, leave your suggestions on the discord there's a suggestion section if there's something you'd like to see specifically i'd like to add more wheels but man are wheels annoying to add so we'll figure out some fun stuff though but i'll talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoyed the update peace out